Okay. I'm just going to do something really quick. How's everybody doing? Mike Gibson, owner of Gibson Works Property Art LLC and the Topiary Artist. And I am going to design a quick topiary for you today. Here we have a few uh, arborvitaes. I'm just going to make a nice quick design and just show you uh, how you too can make a topiary. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make something really quick with this one. I just kind of like how it's almost a single stem. It is a single stem. It's one hanging, but uh, yeah, I kind of like how that is. So what we're going to do is you kind of want to look at it and see which way do you want to go with it. Leave it just one gallon pot. Good, that stem's going to have to go. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Get rid of the stem. I have one solid shoot going up. Okay. See, now I have just a solid shoot going up. Real quick design. So let's go from trying to see which way I want to go with this. I'm going to go left to right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start low. What I'm going to do here is just have that come, come around. Nice and easy. Now, the point of this and how I'm going about it is you want to make sure that you are confident and how you're cutting it, right? So when this grows up, there's going to be a nice round spiral going around. You can see, I already started making that cut. So this is going to go from the bottom, right of my right, and it's going to go right to left, right to left, and keep going. So now I got the right, I went left. And what I want to do is I want to keep that momentum going. What I'm going to do is just trim away all this unnecessary stuff that's going to be coming in here. I'm going to go around. The good thing about the Arborvitae is it's very forgiving. It's a nice moderate uh, growth. Doesn't grow very fast. I want to get rid of all this bottom first so that it captures this going around a lot more. You want to keep moving it around so you can keep seeing it from different angles. You don't want to just cut straight on. What I'm doing specifically is cutting on an angle so that I see that there's a sharp line. And I keep taking that line. Okay. What I'm going to do is start to wind this some more. You see how it's starting to gradually get that shape? The good thing is, you want to grab a shape now. However, you want to start to see this shape develop over the next couple of years. So the one thing that uh, topiary teaches you is how to have patience. Because although, yes, I'm going to have this, uh, this nice little immediate design right now. However, this design is not going to actually look how it's supposed to look. Oh, until probably another three to five years. It's going to have to fill out. It's going to get a little bit bigger than this. Um, And you're probably seeing me flip this around, right? So what I'm doing is when I want to cut on the angle, is how the blades are shaped. They're flat on the back and they're more curved on the top. So if I want to curve, I can get it more so when the blades are facing down. Now, when the blades are facing up and I have a flat edge, I can get more straighter edges on that. So if I'm looking for a straight edge, I'm using the flat edge. 
when I want to curve, see how it's curving? I want it to curve in. So I'm going to cut so that the blade can start to curve in for it. You see? We're going to take out all this extra stuff. I want all of this gone. Because I want it to wrap around. And easy. You see? It's so easy. Everybody can do it. Anybody can do this. Your grandma, your grandpa, your cousin, even you. Okay? Now you see how it's going up? I can even start to get this come around. That desired shape. Okay. And as you can see, that the spiral starts below. What it's going to do is you know, remember from right to left, it's just going, it's kind of like it's just going clockwise. So it's just going around the clock, around the clock. Now I like to get it nice and uh, tight. So that when a new row comes in, you can differentiate. Now I got a nice big large curve here, and it's what I was given uh, by the branches. Sometimes the foliage won't give you uh, what you're desiring, so you have to train it. And that's what we're doing now. We're just training the shrub. We're training this art to grow as a spiral. Go ahead and come up. When that grows now, that's going to feel. That's going to spin one more time. Okay? And it's that simple. You too can make a topiary. Right? Doesn't take long. Under 10 minutes, you're able to create a nice, quick topiary. And this uh, size, uh, two feet. But this is a nice one gallon size pot, Arbabite. Again, this is going to grow another foot. Probably grows a good foot a year until it gets to its desired height. You can either plant this in a pot outside. You can put this in the ground. As of right now, because it's cold in the wintertime, you can just keep this right inside your home. So it's perfect for the holidays right now, especially decorating. Uh, you can put some little tassels on here. You know, it's like a Charlie Brown tree. You don't want to put a big ball because it'll weigh it down. However, you can decorate it and put little uh, ornaments on it as well and just watch them uh, hang and it'll look beautiful just by itself for when the family comes over for the gathering for the holidays. You got something nice and beautiful to show them. You can have this in your office uh, space. And that was a good, good description of it right here. Good showing of how that spirals. You see how it's just turning around? Perfect. Now, what I want to do now is come just a little bit closer and get some more fine tuning. I was just noticing that there's a few more cuts that just need to be made to make this just a little bit more perfect, right? Spin perfectly around. I think that looks just gorgeous, doesn't it? All right, folks. Well, thanks for joining me for today. Again, I'm your host, Mike Gibson, owner of Gibson Works Property Art LLC. You can check us out on Facebook at Gibson Works or on Instagram, Gibson underscore Works. Have a good one.